Oh, shall we put our hands together and appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Daddy, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. This testimony is coming from one of our dearest sisters in this house. She goes by the name Sister Equia. And the Lord has delivered our sister from a very big trouble. The testimony goes like this. She says, my name is Equia. And a nurse by profession. Few Saturdays ago, my father called me. That one of his closest friends is seriously sick. So I should go and attend to him medically. I answered my father and said, if he is seriously sick, he has to go to hospital for him to be treated. But my father stressed that the man is insisting that I'm the only one he wants me to come and attend to him medically. Hallelujah. So, to avoid the displeasure of my father, I reluctantly went. Upon getting to the man's house, I saw that he was suffering from severe diarrhea and was going to toilet every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes, this man was going to toilet and the toilet wouldn't stop. Amen. And I was told by the relative around that the sickness actually started the previous day and if it continues the person will lose all water in his body and will die eventually that was why he needed to go to the hospital i check his blood pressure and temperature and other things and they were all very bad i proceeded to administer the medicine to him after 30 minutes everything became worse he was now going to toilet every five minutes now the toilet time declined from 10 minutes to five minutes every five minutes this man has to visit the toilet and his pressure and temperature also worsened and the wife started accusing our dear sister sister Pierre that what have you done did you come here to kill my husband according to our sister the way things were going she knew she was in a big trouble she was confused and didn't know what to do according to her she started sweating because the man can die and eventually they will blame her for killing the man so something happened this woman was having in her bag her asinas. She said, the anointing oil and water that we brought for pastor to bless for us. When the man went to the toilet, while she was in the toilet, this woman Nicodemusly brought out the anointing oil. And she poured just a little into the water of the man. Guess what this hot happened? When the man came back from the toilet, our dear sister says, I gave him some of the water to drink. And church, guess what? Miraculously, strangely, and surprisingly, the diarrhea stopped all of a sudden. Our sister said, she waited for some few minutes this man wouldn't go to toilet 30 minutes no toilet one hour no toilet eventually the anointing oil and the water cemented the stomach of the man and he could not go to toilet our sister said she left the place and went back to her house the following day she picked her phone and called the man daddy how are you he said stop calling me I am okay. The toilet hasn't come for a long time. I will never come. Put your hands together. Yeah, 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 yeah.